All right, fruit lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, we're talking about whether or not fig trees need pollination. Do you need two fig trees to have cross-pollination and a successful, productive fig tree? The short and sweet answer is no. We only need one fig tree. There are certain situations where uh, you may need pollination on your fig tree, but for the overwhelming majority of us, I would say 95 to 99% of us, we do not need a second fig tree or pollination of the figs on our trees. In fact, figs are really special in that regard in that um, the fig actually is an inverted flower. So inside every single fig on these trees that I have here is about 100 to 400 or 500 different individual flowers, but they're all on the inside of the fig. If you turn the fig inside out, you will see all of the individual flower parts. Uh, and that's what kind of makes the fig so special is that it doesn't really require any pollinators whatsoever. However, there is a very specific wasp called the Blastophaga, that's the species name, that does indeed pollinate the fig and it actually completes its life cycle in the fig. But in order to actually pollinate figs, you need a male fig. So if you really wanted to pollinate them, you can. In fact, it, it does provide some benefits. It may increase the size of the fruits, the quality of the fruits, the flavors of the fruits. In fact, that's something that I've been really experimenting with is actually hand pollinating them on purpose to see if the flavors will change. Um, so there is some benefits to having them being pollinated and you would be lucky enough to live in a place where the blastophaga or the fig wasp is actually present. But it's not present in about 95, 99% of the areas that we live in here in the United States. It's present only really in parts of Southern California and no Northern California, as well as parts of the Mediterranean. And even actually it's been found now going up and towards Germany. The fig wasp cannot withstand temperatures below about 14 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you get colder that, than that in the winter time, you will never really see the fig wasp in your area. Now, you can of course take pollen from male figs called capra figs, dilute that into water, maybe add a little bit of sugar, and you can actually get a syringe and inject your figs with the pollen, and that's what I'm doing here by hand pollinating my figs. Now, there's a couple reasons for that, as I mentioned, the fruit quality, the size, but also maybe your fig does indeed need pollination. As I said, there is a small faction of fig trees that do actually need pollination. These are the ones that um, are called Smyrna figs or San Pedro figs. There are three types of, of female figs. As I said, the male fig is called the Capra fig. And there are three types of female figs. When I plant a seed that's been pollinated and it germinates, there's a 25% chance that I'll get one of those four types of figs. The common fig is what everybody grows for the most part. It's available in all the nursery catalogs. You don't even have to really worry about it unless, of course, you choose a variety called Desert King. But the common figs do not require any pollination whatsoever. You can still improve them flavor-wise by pollinating them. Uh, but Desert King is the only one that you might come across that may require pollination. And what I mean by that is the Breva crop, the first crop of figs that forms on last year's wood, will not require pollination. It never does. Um, but the main crop will. And that's what's called a San Pedro type. Desert King is probably the classic variety for that. There's maybe a handful of varieties that are maybe worth growing because they are San Pedro figs and may produce a plentiful Reba crop that way, Desert King being the, the poster child. And then there is the Smyrna figs. The Smyrna figs, like I said, 25% chance from seed, you'll get one of these. And they will require uh, pollination of the main crop, just like the San Pedro figs, but the Smyrna figs do not produce a Breva. So if it does produce a Breva, then it's automatically actually considered a San Pedro. Um, now common figs also produce a Breva, so it, it can be really confusing with all these different types and all these different classifications of figs. Uh, but I would highly recommend if you want to see more information on this, 
go to my blog, figboss.com. I'll put a link in the description where I describe all the different types of figs that you guys might have. Uh, and it can clarify everything I just said in easier to digest format. And that way uh, you guys can be fully informed on what it is that you're growing here with your fig tree. So thanks for watching. Please, if you enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. See you for the next one. Take care, guys.